Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Fixie Travel Hand Grinder from Orphan Espresso. Now, this grinder has been designed with one goal in mind. Make the lightest hand grinder while still being able to compete against some of the best hand grinders and not compromise on the quality of the grinds produced, which is a heck of a feat and takes thinking outside of the box a little bit from traditional design to come up with this. Weighing under 350 grams in total, Made from carbon fiber and anodized aluminium, it's a grinder that feels like it's at home amongst your adventure or hiking kit. Now, if you want to shop the Fixie Travel Grinder, you can by following this link right here. Let's take a closer look now and see why the Fixie makes a great choice for a travel grinder. So the Fixie weighs 330 grams, which is not super light in terms of ultra light packing, but there really isn't too many other grinders out there below that weight. Certainly none that use 47 millimeter steel conical burrs, which in this case makes up for half the weight of the Fixie. Those burrs are a very reliable Etzinger burr made from tool grade steel. The noticeable differences in the shape of them with large extended crushes produce a very consistent grind size. Now the leading principle with the Fixie Grinder and the clue is in the name is essentially when you're traveling, in most cases you've only brought with you one brewer, your favorite brewer and not the whole brew bar, right? So the reality is there in some way, you're fixed into that grind size of the brewer you're using and you don't need those infinite changes or the 30 steps of grind adjustment. You just need that one to make a great cup of coffee. And the Fixie does just that. It comes with three spaces or Fixie discs and four more additional shins that when placed under the handle of the Fixie work to lift the burrs up closer together. And depending on the disc and how many shims you use under the handle, the finer and the finer the coffee will be ground. Now each of these discs is a different thickness and you can quickly recognize them apart by the number of holes in each. These are your primary settings and you can't use these in tandem. But with one disc and these four shims, you can make very small incremental changes to your grind size, either by 0.1 or 0.2 millimeters at a time, and that'll be the difference between the burrs, which in itself is sort of like the refinement you get from the adjustment on a stepless grinder. And these shims weigh practically nothing to carry. So by taking one of the discs and all of the shims along for a ride, that's already 12 grind settings at your disposal. And that's the idea around using the Fixie. If you're already brewing coffee with it at home, then you know what grind setting is going to work for you on a particular brewer. So whether it's the one disc, the two, or the three with two shims, you can set it up and place it in your bag or literally throw it in your bag as this grinder is practically indestructible and you're good to go. We've got no zero points then, no counting the clicks and no movement of any grind settings. And with any particular arrangement of disc and shims, the Fixie will grind for any brew method. From the fine mocha pot grind to an AeroPress and Delta Press grind, up to pour overs like the V60 and the Chemex. It's very unlikely though, someone's gonna be traveling with the Chemex in their bag. To your French press, no worries. And of course, cold brewing at the coarsest setting. Now, the way in which you add the beans into the grinds chamber through that small opening on the side of the grinder covered by a silicon door by many is recommended to use the grinds cup, but you could also just use your hand to sprinkle them in. Now, it can be a little tricky to get all those beans in, but once that door is back on, there'll be no beans bouncing out. And with low friction ball bearings, with a reliable straight drive shaft, the action to the Fixie is very fluid. With smooth rotation, it's comfortable to hold by the handle or the body and makes quick work of a dose of coffee. The grinds chamber holds around 30 grams of ground beans and the cup is made from titanium and is attached via a unique Y seal, which makes it very hard to bump off accidentally. But when you do want to remove it, you just need to pull off one corner first and then the rest will follow. And the diameter of this cup fits very nicely into the top of an AeroPress. And the other great feature about the Fixie is of course, it comes with its own drawstring travel bag. Now there's also a separate pouch inside this to keep the handle safe away from the body. And then that way it's also nice and slimline, tidy and secure when it's at the bottom of your rucksack. 
and that's the Fixie Travel Hand Grinder from Orphan Espresso. Now, I have backpacked across parts of the world with an AeroPress and a hand grinder that weighed almost one kilogram. It's still a great grinder I use today, but if someone had told me about the Fixie back then, then there's no question that this would be the grinder I would have chosen to travel with. With its precise and consistent grinding performance, along with that durability and its lightness, makes it to the top of my list for a travel grinder. So if you have any questions on the Fixie, throw them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.